Hello lovely people, uh, I want to tell you a little bit about my new TV series and book, Jamie's Great Britain. I'm really proud of it. I've been doing TV for about 14 years now and never really concentrated on my own country. Um, and with the Olympics coming up in 2012, uh, I thought I'd take the opportunity to get out and about finding things out from right up to Scotland, going down to the south through beautiful little villages, towns, seeing the produce, different producers, and it's been absolutely brilliant, totally inspiring. Of course, in the book, we've been capturing all of that, hundreds of recipes. It's been an opportunity just to admire my own country <laughs> instead of um, just other people's, which is what I've been doing for the last sort of 13 years, really. The food, you know, it's got a bit of everything, really. I mean, it's got, you know, I've covered all bases from desserts to veg to fish to meat, all the way through pies. And, you know, it's full of, like, comfort food and food that's like a big old hug. Um, but at the same time, you know, we've got such incredible produce now being grown in farmers' markets and in my own back garden and stuff like that. And from Scotland and the seafood and the game up there, all the way down to the incredible seafood of the South, you know, like outrageous. We've filmed the whole series and written the whole book and shot it um, throughout sort of a year, year and a half period. So we've got a real, it's not like something that's been jam busted in a summer. If you look through the book or if you watch one of the programs, you've got snow, sleet, fog, and all the miserable weather that kind of, kind of just makes you want to eat stews and soups and stuff that puts a smile on your face, you know? And then of course, spring, optimism, lightness, those beautiful pastel colors, peas, asparagus, all the lovely soft fruits, foraging, you know, summertime, wild mushrooms, pumpkins, it's all there. British food at its best is delicious. It's proper rustic country food. It's family food, it's comfort food. We've never been like ones that have really overdone anything or worked or shaped or molded, you know. So, you know, some of the most beautiful things in the world are really simple things with asparagus, you know, tossed in butter, a little mint, a squeeze of lemon juice. It's always been about family. So like the roasts, we're famous for roasts, I know, but slow roasts, braises, shins of beef. So you get wonderful versions of the Italian cucina povero. You get, you know, beautiful dinners made out of nothing. The wealth of recipes is immense. So for me, Jamie's Great Britain is about reigniting some of those. And you know, I've spent 10 years working around the world you know, if I went on David Letterman, you know, seven, eight, nine years ago, I went on there six times and it, out of my seven, eight minute interview, I'd be defending that there is some good food in Britain. <laughs> hey, you guys in England, you kind of eat all that sloppy stuff, you know, kind of like, what is it, faggots and spotted dick? Without question, Britain has had bad rep for food. And I think in the last 15 years, Britain has published some beautiful cookbooks. It's our time to shine now. So this is my go. Hopefully you'll like it. I love it.